hello and welcome to the new Faculty Orientation Foundations in Adult Instruction course. My name is Katrina Stoops and I am your course facilitator. In this video, I will give you a very quick tour of the course and um, will show you how to navigate it. When you log in the course, the very first page you will see is the announcements page. Every week I will be posting new announcements, so it is very important to check this page regularly. Next, I am going to show you how to access your course information. So the course information link is located on the course menu here on the left. If you click on this link, you will see that we have the syllabus posted and the course schedule posted as well. Also, uh, this course orientation video, the video that I am recording right now, will be posted right here. So it is very important to review the course syllabus and course schedule because those documents contain very important information about the course. Uh, facilitated contact information, overview of the course assignments, due dates, and grading, and important course policies. So just make sure that you review both documents before you start working on your course assignments. If you have any questions about the course or about the assignments, please do not hesitate to contact your course facilitators. Um, our contact information is uh, in the syllabus, so once you uh, open the syllabus link, you will see that we have, um, uh, there's information about each course facilitator, and of our phone numbers, our emails, and also um, you can find uh, the contact information under faculty information link right here on the course menu. So let's click on this link and see what's there. So here is uh, my information. So this is my picture. Uh, my name is Katrina Stoops. Then you will see my email, phone number, um, uh, my biography, and also I posted um, when I am available. If you have any questions, you can email me, and then when I am available and how quickly I will grade your assignments. To uh, access uh, your course content, uh, you will need to click on the course modules link here on the course menu. So let's click on this link, course modules on the course menu. And um, this is a four week course. So you will see four weeks. So four modules uh, corresponding with four weeks of your course. So these modules are titled week one, getting oriented to teaching at CDU. Then week two, taking a closer look at CDU's academic model. Week three, finding the route to city your exemplary pr practices. And week four, arriving at your destination. Four weeks, four modules, and each module is titled week one, week two, week three, and week four. Let's dive in the first module and see how it is structured. So you will see that um, each module has actually a similar uh, design, similar structure. So we have course outcomes. Uh, there are four outcomes for this course and <clears throat> we have specific uh, assignments and activities that align with the course outcomes. Um, at CDU, we emphasize this alignment between course outcomes and assessments. So you will see the structure in this course. Outcomes, course outcomes, and due dates for the activities that you will need to complete each week. To open week one content, you will need to click on this link. Week one, getting oriented to teaching at CDU. So it is a link. Uh, click on this link, and then you will see the co course content. So there is uh, this week's uh, overview, then objectives for this week. Objectives for um, this week uh, will uh, are aligned with the course outcomes and the list of activities that you will need to complete this week. Let's go over each activity in this uh, module in this week. So it starts with Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Welcome to a new faculty orientation webinar. This is the live webinar that we will hold on Monday. Information about the webinar is uh, posted right here. You can just read it. Um, uh, the webinar will be uh, conducted in Collaborate Ultra. This is the application, the system that we're using um, <clears throat> at CDU. To uh, get to the webinar link, 
um, you will need to click on quick links collaborate so it's um, on the course menu right here this link uh, quick links collaborate so click on this link and then choose blackboard collaborate ultra link so click on this link just wait a, a couple of seconds it takes time to uh, for blackboard to load and then you will see the link for you to your webinar so if you choose to attend the webinar in the morning uh, you will click on this link to join the room to join the session and then again if you choose to attend in the evening so you will need to click on this link so that's the room um, that we will be using to conduct to conduct the webinar in the evening okay let's go back to the course content to go back you will need to uh, click on the link course modules here on the course menu and then um, you will see the list of all the modules again we are reviewing week one so let's go back to week one week one getting oriented to teaching at city so that, let's click on this link and continue exploring um, uh, the week one content next one is introduction to teaching and learning in blackboard course this is a course that you will uh, take as a part of this orientation and um, the directions are posted here the next activity is group discussions group discussions is a group-based activity and we have a separate video that actually uh, walks you through these activities and um, we in this video we will we show you how to navigate through this um, uh, activities and how to get to your group um, discussion board forum dis discussion forums there is a separate video I'm not going to go over this right now the next activity that uh, is a part of the week one uh, content is class delivery manual for instructors again the instructions are posted here and the last one is uh, week one quiz uh, you will need to complete this uh, quiz and again the instructions are posted here let's actually explore how the quiz works but to open the quiz you will need to click on the link quiz a uh, week one quiz let's click on this link and see how it works so the uh, description for the quiz is posted here here's the instructions to begin the quiz you will need to click on uh, this button begin button it's a blue button so i'm not going to uh, Take the quiz i'm not going to click on begin button instead i will not navigate back to the course con uh, to the week content by hitting the back button okay so i'm back in week one i'm actually done with week one and if you want to uh, go to week two content uh, for your convenience i included the link that will direct you um, to um, the next module and the activities in uh, week two module but if you want to go back to this module page where all the modules are listed you will need to click on course modules link on the course menu okay let's click on this link and we are back to the course modules so let's take a look at the second module so every module in this course is structured uh, very similarly um, you have um, course outcomes listed here so there are four course outcomes but for this module the, the activities in this module I aligned with a two out of four course outcomes and then there are the due dates um, uh, posted here so this are the activities that are due this week let's open this module to open this module you will need to click on the link week two taking a closer look at city use academic model so let's click on this link and again you will see uh, a very brief um, <clears throat> overview of this week objectives for this week and activities that you will need to be um, to, you will need to complete this week so let's go over the content it starts with the city use academic model uh, <clears throat> this is actually a folder um, so let's click on this folder so this is a link let's click on this folder and you will see the content so there's a lot of information about city use academic model that you will need to read there are, there are videos that you will need to watch and then at the end there is a blog activity that you will need to complete again the instructions are all posted here let's just see how blogs work to open the blog <clears throat> to post on the blog you will need to click on the link blog record your instructional strategy 
and then you will see the directions instructions all posted here uh, so when you're done and you want to post your blog entry you will need to click click on create blog entry and then <clears throat> type, type the title type your blog entry and then when uh, you want when you're done uh, to post your entry you will need to click on uh, post entry button it is blue button post entry I'm not going to post anything right now so um, I will uh, head back uh, to the course content okay I'm back to the course I'm, I'm back to the week content and to navigate back to um, the rest of the content in this week, I will click on this link. Okay, after you reviewed the academic model and completed the blog activity, there are other activities that you will need to work on this week. Um, so we posted strategies for facilitating effective discussions, and there is an assignment that you will need to work on. So again, there are the directions. Please read the directions to complete this activity. And let's see how assignments work. To open the assignment, uh, to submit the assignment, click on the link, Assignment Strategies for Facilitating Discussions. And um, each assignment in this course is uh, different. If you just want to type your submission, you will click on this button, Write Submission. If you want to um, upload attached document, you will need to click on this um, option, browse my computer, so that you can attach a document. So when you're done uh, to submit your uh, assignment, uh, click on submit button. It's a blue button called submit button. Again, I'm not going to submit anything right now. So I will go back to the, mod uh, to the week two uh, module content. Okay, I'm back. And again, if you want to navigate to week three content, there is a link that I included. So you can just click on the link and uh, week three module will open up. Or if you want to go back to the course um, uh, module pay, modules page, uh, click on the course modules link uh, on the course menu. Um, week three and week four modules are organized um, uh, very similarly. Uh, actually, all weeks um, are organized uh, basically the same way. I'm not going to go over week three and week four because I've already shown you how week one and week uh, two are structured. So the only um, thing that I wanted to show you is how um, assessment, how assessments and tests link works if you want to just re to, to view open and view all assessments that are um, due um, in the course that you will need to work on the course you can do that by uh, clicking on the link assessments and tests here on the course um, menu let's click on this link here you will see the list of all um, assignments that you will need to work on this week Oh, sorry, uh, you will need to work on in this course. But I just want to warn you, but this is not the entire course content, only the assignments that <clears throat> are a part of this course. If you want to view the course content in the sequential order, then you will need to go back to course modules. That's where the, all the content, all the activities, all the pages are uh, posted in a sequential order. Now, let's explore discussion board link here on the course menu. And um, it works, this area works the same way as assignments and tests, only for discuss, only uh, that we have discussions in this area. So let's click on this link. And here you will see all the discussions that we have in this course. Again, this is not the entire course content, only the discussions. I actually want to take time and give a very quick overview of this first discussion board titled Discussions and Answers. It is a very helpful discussion forum. For example, if you have a question uh, about a course or about an assignment, there is a chance that your colleagues also uh, have a similar question. So by posting this question and by posting the answers to this question, 
um, so you can help your colleagues. So it's kind of a cohort-based uh, mo uh, model, a community-based model, so where everyone is posting the questions and the answers and helping each other. So let's see how discussion forum works. To open the discussion forum, click on the link questions and answers, and then you will see no nothing. Don't be scared. Uh, to open the discussion and to see the uh, directions, you'll need to create click on create thread. So I'll click on this button, create thread, and all of a sudden you see all the directions and uh, type the subject line for your post, type your post, and then when you're done, hit submit. Again, I'm not going to submit anything right now, and I will go back to the discussions, uh, discussion board area. So this is how discussions work. And <clears throat> one last, um, section that um, I would like to show you is uh, grades. So to view the grades and the rubrics for each assignment, uh, you will need to click on my grades link here on the course menu. Um, so nothing is graded yet, so you don't see any grades posted right now, but once you start uh, working on your assignments and I will post the grades, that's where you will see your grades. Also, each assignment has a rubric, so you can view the rubric for each assignment by clicking on this links. So for example, this blog assignment has a rubric, rubric and you will need to click on view rubric to view the rubric for this assignment. So each assignment will have a rubric. I highly recommend to review the rubric for each assignment before you, work, uh, you start working on them so that you know how you will be assessed, how <clears throat> I will be um, assessing your work and how uh, you will get the feedback. That's the last area that I wanted to show you. I think that is all for now. Again, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have any questions about the course or about um, a specific assignment, please um, email me or call me. Again, information about my office hours and when I am available is posted in the syllabus and also under faculty info. And also under faculty information. And that is all for now. Enjoy the course and thank you.